Hey there folks, today I'm bringing you a UU battle with Mr. Psyducks. Uh, so looking at my team, actually, uh, I made a huge mistake. I actually meant to get rid of Hitmontop and bring back the Lade, but I screwed up, and so as soon as I got to the selection screen, I was like, crap, I did not want to actually bring out, uh, I did not want to bring him on top with me. Looking at his team, we actually share half the same team. Uh, he leads off with Sableye, I lead off with Zapdos, no idea why I let off with Zapdos. Um, just going for the Thunderbolt, not sure why he was taunting me, I don't know what he thought I was going to do that would have been taunt worthy, but it doesn't mean I won't be able to roost if he starts attacking. I get him paralyzed, that's a small bit of hacks. With Sableye, it's really a small bit of hacks because the only thing that it would possibly do would be to, you know, paralyze him fully one time in four. Uh, you know, that's not really the bigger, not that big a deal, Sableye is slow with anything. Um, so, he decides to switch out, realizing, you know, he can re uh, he can recover stall off all he wants, but he's going to run out of recovers eventually. Goes out into Roserade. Unfortunately, my Zapdos does not carry the uh, Heat Wave anymore, so it is set up bait for this Roserade. I'm going to go ahead and put a Sleep Powder. So I'm going to withdraw Pazuzu and go out into my Umbreon to take the Sleep Powder, considering I do have a Lumberry. Now, this is kind of strange. Oh yeah, so by the way, I, I paralyzed now his Roserade. That hacks did matter, even though Roserade does have Natural Cure, um, because it means that Mick is going to be able to outspeed. Yeah, I, I'm going to just tell you right up front, I hacks this guy a lot in this battle. So anyway, I go for the payback, doesn't really do very much. He goes ahead and sets up Toxic Spikes. Not really sure why, considering I have a Roserade of my own that I can send out. I also have a Spinner. I have a dedicated Spinner and a Cleric. So, and really, actually, so looking through my team, uh, okay, so two Pokemon would be affected, three Pokemon would be affected by uh, Toxic Spikes. But here I've just sent out my Roserade and swept them all away, so it's really not that big a deal. I go out into Zapdos, who's in the air. Um, against his Gligar. He's gonna withdraw Gligar, do a double switch, go out into Chandelure. Okay, uh, Chandelure's gonna go for the Flamethrower, so I'm thinking probably Scarfed, almost certainly Scarfed. Most Chandelures are Scarfed. He gets the burn, and that's not good. Uh, but I have a Cleric, so it's not the end of the world. Though what's really a big deal is how much damage that did. I go for the Thunderbolt, does a crap ton, but I'm not gonna be able to survive another Flamethrower, so... I'm gonna have to withdraw at this point. I'm thinking that he's almost. I mean, I, I really think that he's scarfed. So I go out into my own Chandelure, expecting it the Flash Fire Boost, but he he was faking me out. Goes for the Shadow Ball and is going to take out my Chandelure. This is not even the first time this has happened. Chandelure is a great partner for uh, Roserade and Zapdos, but I keep on misusing it so badly. Ugh. Anyway, I send out Mick because Mick should probably be able to take it out and uh, it's got the special bulk that it should be able to take one hit. Um, he actually just switches out, goes out into his uh, Sableye. I, I was kind of expecting that. I go for the Wish, go for the Payback here against the Sableye. I'm not actually sure what a Sableye can do against me. He goes for the Nightshade. Now that's actually going to do slightly more than my Wishes will be able to restore up. That's assuming though that he doesn't ever get fully paralyzed. So. I should be okay here. Uh, he gets fully paralyzed here, I go for the payback. I'm not going for the curses because he's got taunt and I have no way to ex expect the- no, not sure what I can expect the taunt. It's actually interesting that payback's power does appear to double even if the opponent gets fully paralyzed. Uh, probably also means that if your opponent was sleeping and went for a move, uh, payback's power would be doubled. It's, that's, it's really weird how payback mechanics work and uh, other kinds of mechanics like that work. Um, get a crit here, crit definitely mattered. Uh, I should be going for Curses since he, for some reason, does not want to taunt me. Um, yeah, I guess, I, well, at that point, he really should go for the recover. Going for any attacking move would be silly. Uh, I think I take advantage of that. Go for the Curse. Gonna get my attack higher so that my attacks will actually be doing a little bit more, maybe more than he can stall me out. Although, I'm in a, I'm in a nice position where basically all he can do is use Recover unless he was okay with dying. And the Parahax is really helping me out. And, you know, he doesn't have a cleric, it looks like. I mean, unless his Roserade runs aromatherapy. But, uh, it's, it's not clear at this point whether he's... it does. So he withdraws from Sableye, goes out into Gligar. Now, Gligar is going to be able to wall me for days because it is a physical wall. Um, and I don't think I can get off enough curses. I don't think at plus six I'd even be threatening it that much. He goes out and sets up Stealth Rock, expecting me to switch out. I go for the Wish before the switch out, just in the hopes of helping him out. 
I guess he figured that I was gonna switch out. Unfortunately, I went for the toxic. He went for the toxic, and so all that's gonna end up doing is paralyzing him because I've got heal bell. So I was going to go for the heal bell anyway because Zapdos has that burn, and if I'm gonna bring out Zapdos to counter Gligar because it does have the hidden power grass. Really wish it was hidden power ice, um, but if it were hidden power grass, then you know I could actually threaten it. Yeah, I really need to redo Zapdos' set. Uh, and actually Roserade's too, because uh, frankly, with all the Guts Pokemon running around UU, setting up Toxic Spikes is really, really risky and really not worth my time. Anyway, at, the, at this point I've had enough boosts that I was pretty sure I could take a close combat, so he actually went for the Stone Edge. Now he goes for the close combat. Uh, I take that hit rather well. Considering, and now his defenses are lowered, so actually if I keep getting off these curses, even though my only attacking move is Payback, I actually should be able to kill this Hidden on top, which is just funny. Uh, gonna go ahead and recover back up to full HP, thanks to that wish. Uh, his close combats really are not particularly menacing. He's gonna go ahead and switch out into Sableye. Uh, I go for the Payback, and I'm hoping that I can take out the Sableye, although not gonna be quite enough because the payback mechanics changed, and um, payback mechanics changed, and now uh, payback does not get its power doubled on a switch. Uh, anyway, he goes for taunt, expecting me to go for another curse. Instead, I go for the payback and take out his Sableye, So that's great. Now, Hitmontop's going to come back out, get the intimidate drop. So my attack is not going to be that high, and I'm taunted anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out into El Kabong. Uh, basically, I know I resist a close combat, and I'm not really fearing too much, but and I'm also faster, so after he gets off his close combat, it's still going to do a lot of damage, but he's going to get the special defense drop, which means that when I go for Giga Drain this next turn, and yes, it's Giga Drain, not Leaf Storm, really, yeah, this Roserade set needs to be redone. I really wish that Spikes and Sleep Powder were legal on the same set, although if that were true, then Roserade would definitely have been banned to Borderline at this point, or have gone up to oh, you, to be honest. But yeah, people keep talking about banning Roserade. I don't think it's broken, but that's also because I'm not using a particularly good set. I will probably change this up for the Spike set and just lose access to Sleep Powder. Um, yeah. So here I go for the Sleep Powder. His Roserade uh, avoids it. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. I've got no choice but to switch out because he's probably going to be faster considering that my Roserade runs Hidden Power Fire. Uh... And so here he goes with the Sleep Powder and hit misses, and so the, ba the hacked balance is out there, but in this case it kind of mattered a lot more for, uh, for the one missing me, because uh, Roserade has Natural Cure, and Lusitania, my, uh, my um, Durant, just took him out with a nice, awesome Exorcer. I know I outspeed because he's not Scarfed, can't blow up the Scarf twice. I go ahead and use Rock Slide, take out his Chandelure, that is excellent. I'm taking some damage from the Light Orb, but that's okay. He goes out into Gligar, physical wall, really can't touch him. Although he can't Toxic me, so the best he could do is Earthquake. Um, but still not going to want to take an Earthquake. I go out into Pazuzu, expecting the Earthquake, and here my plan is to Roost and switch out so I can use my Zapdos later. Uh, he goes for the Toxic, so I'm like, that's okay. Um, eh. I don't know. Uh, I'm taking. I, I mean, I obviously can't switch out because Entry has to kill me. Although I do have a spinner, so I could conceivably switch out and spin. And my opponent has lost both of their ghost types, so really, actually, spinning would have been a good plan. Uh, but instead, I go for the roost, thinking he would just switch out, thinking that I would, that he walled me. But instead, he picks the roost, goes for the earthquake, and now I'm really not any better off than I started. Well, I'm a little better off, but not enough to switch out. Um, again, I do have a spinner, and I really should be using that spinner, but I'm being really, really dumb. So, yeah. I go for another Roost, expecting him to think I was going to switch out, maybe. I don't know what I... I was just hoping maybe he wouldn't go for another Earthquake. He does go for another Earthquake, and that is really sucky. I'm also kind of toxic stalling his Gligar out, uh, because it is toxic, and I figure at some point he's going to have to Roost, and then I can Roost, and then I can switch out. Uh, assuming that I don't die to anything else, but I'm also thinking, okay, at that point in health, I might as well go for the Hidden Power Grass. Uh, if he goes for an attacking move, if he goes for, uh, he actually goes for Roost here. Ah, oh, so annoying. Um, he's out predicting me with this Gligar, We're like, whoa. But hey, at least I got off some damage against him, and the toxic damage is going to be accumulating kind of a lot, so... 
I've got hopes, I've got high hopes. Pazuzu is going to die from the poison, but it's not really like it was going to be useful at this point against the Pokemon that were left. I guess it would be useful for walling, uh, Hitmontop, but I'm not really fearing much from Hitmontop anyway. I have enough experience with Hitmontop to know that it's really not very scary. Go for the Giga Drain here against Liger. Not, it's not going to take him out. Again, I'd be much better off running Leaf Storm instead of Giga Drain, but the idea with Giga Drain was that I could switch in Roserade, um, when there were entry hazards up, go for the Giga Drain, get back up to full HP, and then have my Focus Sash reactivate. Gligar is going to die now to Poison because he had a choice of either roosting or taking me out, and he decided to take me out. So, uh, Gligar is now down for the count. Out now is going to come him on top. I was really expecting him to go for the, um, go out into his Kingdra, but he decided against it. Goes for the Mock Punch. I'm not really fearing too much. I go for the Iron Head, even at minus one. Thanks to Hustle, I am able to take out his hit on top. That's really nice. And now I've got three Pokemon left. He's down to just one. Uh, I don't know why I went for the Iron Head instead of the Rock Slide. That was dumb of me. I think I forgot that it was resisted and I wanted the higher accuracy. He's going to go for the Dragon Dance, and I'm thinking, oh, holy crap. Oh, holy, holy crap. So, he goes for another Dragon Dance. Again, I'm worried about the accuracy. Well, actually, no. x is going to do more damage anyway because of Stab. Um, so, I go for the x -Scissor, and yeah, accuracy was a big deal. I don't. I think I was hoping for the flinch with the Iron Head, uh, because I knew this was a Chester Resto set. Obviously, it's a Chester Resto set. And here goes the rest, and I'm really screwed. And I'm really, really, really screwed, because I can't 2 it KO this bastard. And... Unless I get a crit, I guess. But he's gonna wake up right away, go for the X-Scissor, and I'm like, crit, 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 please! And it does a little bit less than half, I'm down to 1 HP. He goes for the Outrage, that was really actually a dumb uh, a mistake on his part. He could, should've gone for the Waterfall, it would've been a better idea, because now, um, I've got two Pokémon left, and I'm hoping that Mick can survive an Outrage by some stretch of the imagination goes for the Outrage, and health goes down, 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 down. I survive on 48! I go for the Payback. Uh, I guess I could have gone for the Wish, but I don't think it, it actually wouldn't have worked out well because he takes me out with another Outrage here, and I'm like, my only hope here, my only hope is that he only gets two turns of Outrage, and he does! And I'm like, okay, so now it's all gonna come down to Hacks, because I do the Calcs, I have Bullet Punch on this set instead of Mock Punch. If it had been Mock Punch, it would have been easy, and this is especially a Technotop. Um, had he not hit himself in the confusion, he would have won the game. As it is, I won by one Pokemon. Uh, hope you folks enjoyed that battle. So long.